Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. I didn't quite get that on film. And that's not least. <laughs> Look at this, I can't stop him. Yeah. Gotta be a kingfish. Oh! My name's Robert Field, and I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. Come up! Nice! This time, I'm on a month-long expedition across Australia and New Zealand with the boys from Fish Village. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. You're watching Field Trips Down Under. It's nice work, bro. Yeah. Look, at yeah. Look at this! Yeah. I think it's you guys, eh? Hey? Yeah. This was the last time out of the boat. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Field Trips. <laughs> we are here, what is it, day four? I can't even keep track. Day 10 at least. Yeah, it's like day 15 here down yeah, under. Day 25. <laughs> it's like the log book. Day 25, we've eaten ivy. <laughs> Tensions are high. <laughs> Marty would definitely be the first one to get eaten. Totally. <laughs> In a survival situation. A bit gamey. We, yeah, we'd all immediately be like, Hi, Brendan. <laughs> yeah, start of day four here. Today we're gonna be switching up uh, tactics, doing some deep dropping, dropping some baits, dropping some lures out deep for uh, potentially some big yellowtail kingfish and also hapuka, which is, uh, I don't really know, some kind of, they call them, they're like bass, but not like the bass you're thinking, probably. What kind of species, a grouper? It's like a grouper, man. It's like, it's group, like group a group. Of they, no, they don't know. Like no one here knows. I'm like, what kind of snapper are they? They're like New Zealand snapper. <laughs> like a snapper. So yeah, they're like they're like a grouper, maybe a grouper, somewhat related to a grouper. We don't know, but they're big. They get up to like 100 kilos, so should be interesting. All right, so we're gonna move to this uh, this deep sea spot. It's an hour basically out to sea. And to get the kayaks there, rather than bringing them all in, getting everything off them, and loading them back on the rack, we're gonna try to daisy chain these kayaks. Basically have a rope with attachment points along down it and try to tow these kayaks out to sea. Now, in my experience, towing kayaks behind a boat at any kind of speed, it, it doesn't go well, but he's saying that he's got to wait a time up that it should. We'll see. The key is not, not let these kayaks get out on either side of the wake or they're going to go over and we're going to be dragging uh, submarines. Right now, we're just getting everything off them. Hey guys, flying nets. Flying nets here. Get your nets hot and fresh. Yeah, nets here. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Upside down kayak. Might be about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron gets to work rigging attachment points along the rope, leaving just a few feet between each 13-foot kayak. In theory, they'll all stay in line and ride straight. It's working out all right. They're looking a little squirrely, but I think if they haven't rolled yet, they should be fine. What we call a Marlin teaser in New Zealand. Yeah! Marlin teaser! Alright, so status update. We are out here in basically the middle of the ocean. This is a pinnacle where it comes up from about 300 meters, so I mean roughly a thousand feet up to a hundred meters. So basically a big underwater mountain out in the middle of nowhere. We can barely see Great Barrier Island off in the distance. Uh, we are out here. Pretty wild to think about how much water is underneath us. We're getting dropped in here in the middle of the ocean in a bunch of uh, glorified pieces of Tupperware. But there are some big fish here down at the bottom. Grant's offended. I said glorified pieces. But yeah, they're saying big fish here. So big kingfish. We're going to be vertical jigging here in deep water. So really heavy jigs, big artificial uh, lures. See what we can uh, drum up from the deeps. Dropping the axe in now, getting them off the daisy chain. Luckily, they all stayed upright. So, so far, the day's going according to plan. Just so far. Motto. Hi, Brenda. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brenda. Yeah, that's my mother. Yeah, I feel sorry for her. Yeah. 
Not yet. Oh. Dude. I branded. I branded. Oh, you did it pretty well. Mom, Marty loves you. That is true. <laughs> Shut up. Get in the boat. Get in the boat, <laughs> creep. Creep. <laughs> That is true. <laughs> <laughs> How money would it be if you just flipped right there? Just sat a little too far. Just poetic justice. Sorted. I think so. I got a fish, man, but you might, I might be on you also. It feels weird. It's definitely not big. Are you on? Yeah, something's weird too. Yeah, bro, I think we, I think there might be a fish between us. I right, got fish on, but we're dropping so far. There's so much line out that I've also got ivy. It's kind of a, the old proverbial show right now. The old cluster. <sighs> What is that? Barracuda? Uh, uh, half of, no, a um, barracuda. Barracuda? Yep. So, half of a bait. I didn't bring my gaff, unfortunately. Watch the teeth. Oh, I got a gaff. All right, so this is a barracuda. I've never seen one that looks like this. Yeah, it's different. Crazy looking. Ones. It's got it's got a dorsal like a wahoo, man. Yeah, Crazy teeth, looking fish. Teeth for Africa. Yeah. So how big, how big its parts do we use? Uh, oh, wow. Look at that thing. Cool Look at the teeth on that guy. It's, wow. It's Dude, up. like I, the two jigs though, bro. Yeah, that two jigs shot. in the mouth. You gotta get that in the shot. Look at that. That is awesome. He uh, bit us both, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> wow. That is awesome. Hooked uh, twice. Ivy and I, this is a team catch right here. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> wow. Crazy. That is mad. What a crazy looking fish, man. Look at this thing. So, uh, Rob, here's our half of the bait. You just got a nice tuna. So I just mined the benches. Oh, that's interesting. They do smell a bit. Yeah, they, they do. do some scales. Didn't have any cut bait, but there it is. They're saying these, uh, these barracuda, as they call them, which I mean, it's unlike any barracuda I've caught. I've caught several species, but they're saying these things are perfect. Hapuga bait, which is, these are these large grouper looking bass fish that live way down. And uh, yeah, that's a new species checked off the list. Some sort of barracuda. And it's got really big eyes, and I mean, it kind of looks like a deep dwelling fish. Really kind of dark pattern on it. But uh, yeah, super cool, cool species. And we're gonna cut that guy up, see if we can't turn it into a hapuka. Blood everywhere. Look who smelled this, this fish. I got, uh, I got some kind of shark here. Right here at the boat, he must smell this cuda. Where'd he go? I don't see him. So I was just thinking as I was getting the hook out of this guy, I had both legs dangling in the water, and then I looked down and saw how much blood was in the water. So I picked my legs up, and then sure enough, I just looked up and saw a fin. Did not take long, maybe five minutes and a uh, shark has been attracted to the area. I didn't get a good look at it, what type there it, what it was. Oh, there he is. Uh, I'm assuming it's gonna be, yep, I see him. I'm assuming it's gonna be one of these bronze whalers. We've uh, been seeing a bunch of them back at where we were, where we were camped at. And uh, I'm assuming that's what kind it is. Now there are great whites out here, which is about the only fish in the ocean that really makes me nervous in a kayak, but it doesn't look like a great white. If he is, he's a small one. It's probably about seven feet long, which isn't a small shark, but that'd be a tiny great white. And now I don't see him, I don't have eyes on him. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could cut up a piece of this and catch this shark real quick, but I don't really want to waste my time doing that, but I'd love to get a shot of him for you guys. Oh, it's a hammerhead. Very distinct, easy to spot. That is a, uh, that is a hammerhead. About the same size as the ones I was catching in Southwest Rocks. And he's been lured in by this uh, this barracuda scent in the water. Very, very cool. Love hammerhead, such a cool fish. He's coming in for a little closer inspection. 
Oh, look at this. Right up next to the boat. Oh, wow. That's a sizable shark. Roger, Doja. I've got a pretty excited, uh, like, nine foot hammerhead. Uh, getting pretty close, getting pretty curious. I'm gonna head back towards you guys. No, I think I'm good. If you hear screaming and flailing, uh, maybe come over. Yeah, he's getting a little, uh, getting a little excited, getting a little close, getting a little uh, turned on, if you will. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the group. It's a bigger shark than I realized. It's probably about nine, nine feet, I would say. It's a pretty sizable hammerhead. I got the Bixby motor today, so uh, can just kind of cruise on back. Yep, he's still behind me. All right, Marty's first one hooked up on the vertical jig. Jigging real deep. You got this, Marty! Doesn't look small. Wow, Marty's actually quiet. You know it's a good fish. King, you will tell Kingfish from Marty. Nice work, bro. Great fish. All right, so Steven here got what uh, looks like big fish of the day so far. Maybe about 30 pound Kingfish. Great fish. All right, Marty hooked up again right next to me. Action is hot and heavy once again. Oh yeah. All right, guys, front row view to Marty finding his 19th Cuda for the day. <laughs> All right, Steven's on. Grant's on. Oh, look at this. Everyone's hooking up. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm on. Hooked up again. I think it's just a Cuda. It's not heavy. Another Barracuda. I'm on. <laughs> All right, Ivy's hooked up. Got a kingfish under the boat. Ivy Harris from Florida. Yeah, nice. Oh, dude, great fish, bro. Got himself his personal best yellowtail kingfish from the kayak for sure. Fish on, but it feels like a cuda. I can actually see on my dove finder this fish as I'm pulling it up. It's about 25 meters down right now. This is actually a pretty good one. Let's see if I can get him in without getting bit. There we go. Another Cuda, that one's bigger than my first one was. Really bigger than either one. I think that's my new personal best. Crazy looking fish. Tons of fun, uh, especially on the jig, on artificial. I think that's a kingy. Yeah, fish on. Think so? It's much bigger than none of the other ones have pulled out drag yet. I've caught three, but it might be a might be a big one. It's fighting harder than the other three kudas. None of them pulled drag once. I don't know. They weren't doing that. And that's not least. Look at this. I can't stop them. <sighs> Gotta be a kingfish. <sighs> oh, yep. That's a yippa. All right, guys. Well, fighting uh, what feels like a kingfish on uh, three guides now. <sighs> yeah, it was already a short rod. <laughs> I got no leverage on this fish. He said something about this break in, too. Thanks for telling me now. Thanks for the gift, Nick. He gave me this freaking rod. Oh, and, he, and he's broken every one of them. And he's broken every one. No, now I know why he gave it to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep this guy. You guys all okay with that? Yeah, you can keep this guy. All right. Give me my rod back. There it is. 
Yeah, buddy. Woo. What'd you say, Marty? Catch a real fish? <laughs> a downsized jigs. And there we go. Got it done. So All right, got this big jig down there. This big squid jig, 500 grams from catch fishing. This thing is a beast. It kind of has a lot of action in the tentacles and everything, so you don't have to work it too fast. If this thing gets hit, we're gonna know about it. Oh, uh, yep. Yep, yep. I'm up. Oh, God. Yippee! I got this other line out. <laughs> this is not gonna be good. Yellowtail, good school here, good school here. Yeah, but I got this damn jig out. <sighs> this is gonna be messy. Good fish on, but I got this 500 gram squid jig that I was trolling. I came over to school, so I dropped the vertical jig. Not really thinking about the fact that now this jig's catching up to me and I'm probably gonna wrap. <sighs> Try to get this guy up quick. Maybe I can avoid a mess here. It's not that big. It's definitely a kingfish. Yep, I see him. Kingy on! Uh, they actually. Oh! <laughs> it's got a second wind. It's a lighter jigging setup after the last kingfish snapped mine. Ah! Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh! I saw him, he said, not yet. Oh yeah, it's a good one, dude. Good fish. All right, we're gonna keep this guy. Some people are taking home fish from this trip. I wish I could, but I have quite the journey home. Oh, I say that. Get up here. Oh, beauty. <sighs> Gordon, mate. Uh, yeah, now we're fishing. Kingfish number two on the jig. Same jig, 150 gram. Oh, he's bleeding a lot. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Ew. Oh, oh man, these fish put up a fight. You definitely know it's not a cuda, right, when you hook them. Lord have mercy. You know what the hard thing is hanging out with you? Huh? You don't know if you're talking to me or if you're talking to your camera. Just assume it's always the camera. Yeah. I'm never talking to you. Yeah, this what. Beautiful fish, yellowtail kingfish. The action slowed down, so I was actually really just trolling this 500 gram jig back to the boat. Came over good school, one drop. Went about halfway down, the school was hanging out about mid-water column. Started jigging it, and there we go. I'm covered in blood. And there are sharks. There be sharks in these waters. Yeah, that's not good. I got this thing out still. I thought that was about to be a mess. I was like cranking trying to get that thing up. I think he's eating this. I just swam this through a giant school of kingfish. First drop I hook up, but nothing wants this thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fish on. <laughs> nothing wants this thing. This is a much heavier rod. I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's a cuda. <sighs> That's on that catch 500 gram jig. Squid imitation. Beautiful lure. And uh, there's the first fish on it right there. Hey. Goodbye, buddy. Man, if the sharks aren't here yet, they're on their way. A lot of blood in the water. See filming that? Oh, I see. So we got a cuda here that didn't make it back down. And uh, is that a mako? What kind of shark is it? We got a small Mako that's uh, taking it down right now. Yep. That is wild, man. The guys on the boat just said they saw a Mako free jumping. And now we got it right here, just took the Cuda down off the surface. He got it, eh? You were right on top of it. That should be some good footage. Oh man, that was wild. Oh yeah, and I got a delivery. About to be two. About to be two. Yep. yep. Called it. Called it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh, that was cool though, right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Would have been a lot cooler if I brought it in. That's another good one, man. Yeah, solid. You got it? Yep. <sighs> Ooh -wee. She fell hard on this slider. This is the giant killing, the slider rod. Yeah. Oh, dude. Super fun, huh? One of those, yeah, because something's just start pulling it a bit, you know? Yep. The yep. pods and the rods and all that shit. Yep. Of course, because <sighs> the charger all going to start pouring in, so we need to just start pouring the yaks up. <sighs> hey, good fish today, bro. Yeah, bro. For sure. Nice well work. done, Rob. Thanks. You put us in the spot. Yeah, you that was a blast. All right, fun day out here. Dropping down here, a little doing a little deep sea fishing. <laughs> uh, I think everyone got at least one kingfish. A lot of us got several, and uh, kudos for days. Got this crazy looking frost fish, which we're actually gonna eat that guy. A little frost fish catch and cook. Bizarre looking animal, but they're saying they're good to eat. But now we're gonna load up all the kayaks back up top, heading to a place called Fitz Fitzroy. Fitzroy. Port Fitzroy. Fitzroy. Port Fitzroy. Yeah, yeah, it's coming this way. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. That's, that's a manta ray. Big manta? That's yeah. a huge Whoa. Whoa. That's that's that is huge. Huge. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, check this out. Huge manta ray right next to the pole, right next to the boat. God, that thing is big. Too cool, man. Makos, hammerheads, fish, birds. Tons of life out here today. Out deep in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Oh, too cool. Boom, there he is. Yeah. Oh, wild. No, he's right there. Oh, look at the wave. Look at the bear wave. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> what a cool experience. Too cool. Just saw a huge manta ray right on the surface. Came right next to the boat, right next to a couple of the kayakers as they're coming in. Uh, so cool. Really, really beautiful animal. So graceful through the water. And I've seen them in dirty water, but I've never seen them in crystal clear water like this. Could really see every detail of it. And that thing was big. What do you think, like eight foot across? Yeah, easy. Easy eight foot across. Huge animal. You guys ready? We're good. Oh. Hardest working man on the boat. Thanks, Aaron. We're shooting the gap! Shooting the gap! Fitzroy, Port Fitzroy, this will be the first time stepping on land in uh, what, four days. Yeah. Cheers, man. How long are you, what is it, man? It's been Take as long as you here. like, man. Sweet. It's no dramas. We can stay here. <laughs> we, we, I just fill up with water, do a few cleaning jobs and sweet. Jobs. You can all go up and have a good time. I'll put the rubbish out and shit. And you guys will be good when you come back. Can you bring me back a duty? You, we can do that. Good boy. Just one? No. <laughs> hey, it's an island. As soon as they see fresh meat like you guys, it's probably going to be like seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Fitzroy. I do believe Marty just put his sweatshirt on over his head. You know the zip, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marty. <laughs> I'm going to feel lift out. I'm going to grab a hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to get chilly, I feel like. This place is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I, it just blows my mind. People live here on this island. This is, so this is Great Barrier Island. We've basically been moored up on Arid Island, which is a little spit of land off of Great Barrier Island, which on the map, Great Barrier Island looks kind of like a little spit of land, but it's not. It's actually pretty big. And there is some establishment here. So there's some houses, some Airbnb type, you know, kind of accommodations. You can rent houses here. And there's a pub. So that's where we're headed. It's about a 10 minute walk up the road. But this place is just absolutely breathtaking. Beautiful country, it looks wild. It looks like Jurassic Park, but uh, no dinosaurs from what I hear. There's some creepers walking around though. Hey, wait this for place is sweet. All right, cool, cool. First time being on land in four days. It's like kind of, Good day. 
Friday. It's Friday night. Is it? Every time yeah, we do something, it's always a Friday. It's Friday night, and I feel alright. Random trail into the fucking yeah. song. This place is sweet. As we all recount the day's events, the countless fish caught are hardly mentioned. Instead, we talk of good company, incredible wildlife encounters, and the fact that the vast majority of people never get far enough off the beaten path to experience a place like this. We count ourselves among the lucky. Not that luck is what brought us here, but we're all fortunate enough to understand that the real harvest is simply the here and now. Coming up next, we're fishing and exploring Port Fitzroy and playing with some toothy critters. I'm gonna drop down a ladder and see if I can't uh, get a closer look for you guys. Then we cook up a seafood feast, including the bizarre frost fish that Stephen caught. Mark this moment in time. <laughs> My life just changed. 